Well, right in the slew of all the AI stuff that you're talking about, this apparently just happened. Well, the robots have arrived, at least in Pasadena, California. That's where the world's first ever fully autonomous AI-powered restaurant has opened, complete with burger-flipping bots. We sent CBS's Joy Benedict on a taste test. Flippy the chef makes Spud spectacular. This automated grill gives the meat its sizzle as this restaurant goes robotic. For this burger, it would take about 120 seconds. Cali Express by Flippy is the world's first AI-powered eatery. There's new technology outside the kitchen, too. A cheeseburger. Order kiosks use facial recognition to remember you, your oh, favorite no food, sauce. and how you like to pay. Then watch the robots work. No humans required. We can't get enough people to come out to work on fryers and, and grills. They're dangerous jobs. And this uh, automation helps solve a lot of those issues. Hello, 62% of restaurants report being understaffed. Industry experts say most of those unfilled jobs could be done by robots. And in California, where the minimum wage for most fast food workers will soon be $20 an hour, fewer workers equals cost savings. Dan Ives is with Wedbush Securities, a wealth management firm. Once the minimum wage went to 20, that's the bell going off. More and more focus on spending on AI. Because look, that's inflationary. That's the problem. You can't necessarily pass all that to the consumer. Flippy can cook 250 pounds of French fries an hour. The burger bought 100 patties. These restaurants are very, very busy at peak times, and every second that gets added to somebody waiting in the drive-thru is, is a lost revenue opportunity for that restaurant. Is it costing people their jobs? That's uh, not what we've seen. Um, uh, it's really here to, to help people. Humans at Cali Express will put the finishing touches on orders. For customers, the price of the meals are competitive. As for taste, is it going to affect the quality and the taste? I would say yes, in a good way, because now each burger is being cooked precisely the same way every time. Time will tell whether AI takes over kitchens everywhere. That will be up to the public to chew on. <laughs> Joy Benedict, CBS News, Pasadena, California. Well, I agree. I think if we're looking for consistency, the same flavor, everything, there is nothing more. Because a lot of these processes are already automated. You're just, the, the humans are only there to put the stuff together. They're not the ones that are actually doing all this really integrated cook. Not in, not in like fast food restaurants. And upper class restaurants where they have to know the temperature, know all these precise time frames, when to cook a roux or whatever. That's different. But in a lot of the fast food, it's already automated. You have timers, you said, you're just waiting for processes to finish, then you are the manufacturing. You're just putting it together. So ultimately, what they're going to do, like he said, they make they always make the illusion. AI isn't to take your job. We're here to help humans. So what that does is just makes the employee feel comfortable. Okay, well, you know, it just makes everything faster. But it's just slow integration. Where today we just have Flippy the fry cook. But tomorrow we're going to have, uh, you know, George the grill master. And I don't know. As the lady said on the news, she actually said Flippy is the burger flipping AI robot. Like he's the OG. Yeah, eventually that's all it is. It's like, you know, these things are to help you, but eventually one by one, they're going to just slow down employment. I don't, you know, we don't need you this week. And, you know, after about a year, there's only going to be like two people left. You know, what's interesting is that woman actually asked him too, is this going to replace employ employees? And he's like, no, it's, a it's actually helping them. Because, you know, everybody's trying to flip it on Flippy and say, no, Flippy is taking our jobs, but it's not. It's actually replacing humans where hu the Gen Z group doesn't want to work. And we've seen those uh, AI auto-tuned women. They're like, I don't want a job. They really don't want a job. Well, I mean, who can blame? Nobody really wants that kind of labor. You know, for $20 an hour, I'll work for that. I'll, fl I'll be right next to Flippy. Yeah. But the Gen Zs, it's not enough unless they're making 400 k you know, it's an ick nowadays if you're not making 400K. 